Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead here on ArcleTexHomepage.com. Also on the ArcleTexHomepage.com app. And you can see the weather pattern as we have a significant storm system moving through the plains right now, producing widespread snows over much of the plains. In fact, parts of Nebraska could get anywhere from 6 to 10 inches of snowfall here uh, during the nighttime hours tonight. Further to the south, you can see the plume of moisture streaming over the Arkletex as uh, we are looking at a few scattered showers across the region. Nothing too much as far as thunderstorms just yet. There's still a possibility that we could see some of that activity over especially the eastern sections of the area this evening. That will likely occur ahead of this cold front, which is going to sweep through the Arkletex during the nighttime hours tonight. This front will bring a second narrow band of rain as it moves through late this evening. Then behind this, we'll see an area of high pressure build in. Usually with high pressure, well, we see sunshine, but with this and the upper levels of the atmosphere, we still have a southwesterly flow, so we might see some sunshine mixed in with the clouds tomorrow, but uh, quite a bit of cloud cover lingering across the region, and you can see the rain associated with the next disturbance, which is going to give us uh, a chance of rain over the, mainly the northwestern sections of the area for Thanksgiving as well as for Friday. That being said, let's talk temperature ahead of the front tonight. Actually, behind the front, we'll see temperatures dip into the upper 30s, low 40s north to the upper 40s to low 50s south where the front moves through later. That includes 49 degrees for the low temperatures tonight in Shreveport, 42 degrees for the nighttime low tonight in Texarkana. Daytime highs tomorrow will be in the mid to upper 50s north, low to middle 60s south, looking at 65 in Natchitoches, 62 in Shreveport, 59 in Texarkana, and 56 for the daytime high tomorrow in Idabel. Here's a look at Robin's start of future cast. Again, a few scattered showers possible, but notice the flare up of these showers and thunderstorms here heading uh, into the evening hours. Again, we do have a marginal risk for mainly the eastern half of the area uh, that some of this activity in a few isolated spots could possibly reach severe limits. Uh, damaging wind probably going to be the issue if we have any severe weather here in our area. That ends this evening. The front moves through overnight. And then you can see tomorrow likely we'll begin with some sunshine temporarily, but clouds will be on the increase as we go through the day tomorrow. As nothing really too much to worry about, I don't think, as far as rainfall for your Wednesday. That will begin to change across the northwestern sections of the area Wednesday night. You probably notice from I-30 and points to the north and west, the area of showers here, which is uh, going to try to develop. And then heading through Thanksgiving, a continued chance for some rain basically northwest of Interstate 30. Can't rule out totally the chance of rain further to the south, but again, Shreveport, Marshall, Jefferson, Minden, Mansfield, Natchitoches, southern half the area, not really much as far as rainfall for Thanksgiving. That'll hold true for Thursday evening and Thursday night. As we take Futurecast through Thursday night, you can see a possibility for a few scattered showers further to the south, but the heavier rains will continue basically over the northwest edge of the area. This will likely continue through Friday, as you can see here heading into Friday afternoon, and then going through a Friday afternoon and into the evening. Main focus continues to be over the northwest. Then finally, all of us will have our best chance of more widespread heavier rains uh, as we go through Friday night and through Saturday morning. You can see Futurecast does show a cold front entering the area uh, Friday night about midnight northwest edge of the area, about 3 o'clock in the morning in Texarkana, and then it arrives in Shreveport uh, shortly before sunrise Saturday morning. This is probably going to represent, again, our best chance of widespread rain, best chance for thunderstorms, and perhaps the best chance for severe weather. Storm Prediction Center already indicating that severe weather will be possible for our area, but given the timing, probably looking at uh, a low-end risk with wind, the biggest concern with this activity as it rolls through the area, though we can't totally rule out an isolated tornado. So we'll be watching Friday uh, at night and Saturday morning very, very closely as this frontal system moves through, and behind this front, we will see below normal temperatures to close the Thanksgiving weekend and head into next week. Rainfall potential, if you add all the rain up through Saturday morning, you can see that uh, Futurecast indicating that uh, most of the Arkletex, less than an inch, we could see totals of an inch to maybe two inches across the northwestern edge of the area where you will have a better chance of seeing rain for Thursday and for Friday. So here's how it all breaks down in your seven-day forecast, beginning in Shreveport, looking at uh, a high is tomorrow, 62. It'll be cooler for Thanksgiving as we'll see more clouds. Again, rain will be possible, but a better chance further north. That'll be the case for Friday as well as warmer air begins to stream back in. 70 for the high Friday. And then Saturday, especially in the morning, we'll see that shot for the thunderstorms across the region uh, with a high ahead of the front. 
at 71. Behind the front, sunshine returns for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday with the cool off. Highs retreating to the 50s and low 60s. Lows will fall back to the mid 30s. In Texarkana, you will have again a little bit better chance for that rain for especially Thursday night and Friday as well as Friday night, Saturday morning. And then you two will cool off with highs in the 50s, lows in the low to middle 30s uh, to close the weekend and head into next week. So on and off where most of us will probably have to wait until Saturday morning to see our best chance of heavier rain across the Oracle Tux, although we will see a chance for some showers uh, that will return for Thanksgiving and for Friday. That chance as of right now looks to be highest over the northwestern quarter of the area.